Welcome everyone. This reaction comes from Buy Me A Coffee Recommendations and this one in particular is from Mary Ramirez Greeny. I'm going to look at the third one first. Angelina Jordan, I put the spell on you. Before we start, just real quick, if you want to request a reaction as well, check the link below. Buy Me A Coffee and I'll prioritize your requests. I recently opened Buy Me A Coffee memberships as well, where I post some exclusive content. So check that out if you want to become a regular supporter. Let's now dive into the video. Angelina Jordan, I think I've heard the name. I think someone has already recommended her in the comments before, but I'm not really sure what to expect, so let's see. Very young. Orchestra. I put a spell on you Ooh. because you're mine. Wow. Stop the things you do. Very jazzy. Wow. <sighs> How old is she? Like 13? Less? 11? What a voice. So this style is sort of this orchestral, Michael Bublé, even Frank Sinatra, but it's more bluesy. It reminds me of And I'm feeling good. Do, 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 do. When I first saw her, I thought young talent, probably exceptional feeling and voice, but I didn't expect that she's gonna sound like this. She sings like an old woman. I was talking with my wife about archetypes this morning. What are different archetypes of characters and stories? And there was an archetype of innocent person. And when I first saw her, I thought she's an innocent little girl, but when she started singing, she very quickly turned into an archetype of a witch. Now I'm sure she's a lovely girl, but the level of expression, the maturity of how she's Carrying the song out started with a raspy voice with a lot of I put a spell on you. I couldn't ah so so strong so powerful Let's keep going. I'll put it back a little bit so we can hear the transition into the saxophone solo or what it was there <laughs> She even has this attitude ah. <laughs> I ain't lying. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you in I don't care if you don't want me, I'm yours right now. <laughs> As you could see, I was trying to close my eyes and there's something really interesting about just getting in touch with her voice and imagining what the person seeing this could look like and then actually seeing her. There's like a little surprise to it and I think that's why it really works for her. At one point I thought sometimes this sort of trying to 
sound as an adult person when you're not could feel a little bit gimmicky, a bit trying too hard sort of thing. I think it's not the case with her because she still has this level of humor and detachment from it all. So I don't think she's tr overly trying to sound like an adult woman, but she's acting out this energy of the witch. This is an interesting topic of how we relate to songs, you know, what they mean to us. Let me give a simple example. I used to think I couldn't sing a song Tears in Heaven by Eric Clapton because I didn't have anyone so close to me dying. Partially that's true. You can't really put as much emotion as Eric into it if you didn't experience this, but I found a way of relating to the song that I imagined seen from a movie where the emotion well acted was transferred onto me. Say I'm imagining a dead person on the ground and people are crying around and sad music. So you can kind of put yourself in that place despite the fact that you never experienced what the song is about. So maybe she's not necessarily thinking about enchanting a guy, but she's relating to the song in a slightly different way that resonates with what her experience is like. I think singers in that sense are a bit like actors. We kind of embody the emotion of the song and she's doing it really great in this one. Let's finish this off. Fullness, wow. Whew. I can see here from this photo she's probably much older now. Let me know in the comments if you know how old she is and what she's up to now. I think it would be definitely worth following her now and see where she where she's moved to. In this song I've just seen and heard, she has this advantage of being a young girl singing adult sounding song with her big voice it's a, it's her special talent but once she becomes a woman and this sound sort of will be expected from her what will be her special strength what will be her special sauce maybe uh, exciting novel songwriting let me know in the comments what you think and maybe recommend other songs you'd like me to react to because i'm curious to see where she's developing anyways thank you so much for watching this was great recommendation Mary Ramirez Greeny. I'm going to go through the other ones too. Thanks for your coffees. The rest of you, as I mentioned, go to the first link below, check out the membership, check out the Buy Me A Coffee website. I record these reactions in the morning when I drink my coffee. If you buy me one, I'll make a reaction. Simple as that. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Give this video a like if you liked it. Leave some thoughts in the comments and mainly keep it funky. See you in the next one.